Hello and welcome to Creations by Papasu. Today I want to show you how you can apply patterns to your Inkscape uh, designs uh, for print and cut or uh, cut whatever however you do it. Uh, this is the way I found it. I use patterns from patterncooler.com because they're seamless patterns and you really do want seamless patterns since they are the ones that uh, allow you not to have the tiles. If you have a tiled pattern you will get the lines between. So I find this works better so let's get started and see what we can do. This is a digi stamp that I created uh, and now I want to use it. This is the mat I made to go around it if you like to cut around things and so it's just there in the file. So the first thing I want to do is just make the ducky yellow. He can be a flat yellow, any yellow you like, but we'll use that one. Uh, the important thing is that we want to make the egg he's sitting in look like a decorated Easter egg. So we need patterns. I went to Pattern Cooler and I found a pattern I really liked and I adjusted it and uh, picked the color I wanted and downloaded it at 50% because I don't use very much paper so I don't need a big piece of paper. Then I stayed right in Pattern Cooler and I changed that same pattern to a different color and saved it and then changed it again to a third color and saved it. So I have three patterns in the folder. I put it in with the SVG file so that they're all in one place and we're ready to work with it. So the first thing we have to do is import those patterns into Inkscape. So I do a file, import, There's one pattern there, the blue one. There's the second one. And there's the third one. So I have three colors of the same pattern in slightly different variations. Now these are images and you can't do anything with them until you convert them to patterns. So we're going to convert them to patterns. I click on this one and do object, pattern, object to pattern. Object, pattern, object pattern, object pattern, object pattern. You can tell they're patterns uh, because now it says it's a rectangle not an image. Now to apply them to the design select the design, go to your fill and stroke dialog box We'll move it over here and select pattern. So the pattern comes in just as you see it and it's pattern 4944. You can try to remember that but since you can keep fooling around you can find it. Now this pattern I think which is 4949 the compactness of the pattern is not going to show up very well in this small space. So I'm going to edit this pattern so it f looks better in the space. So I'm going to go to the node tool. I'm going to grab this node and I'm just going to make it smaller. I think that will look better in the space but now I've changed the pattern so I'm going to 
See, it's 49.49. I'm going to go object pattern, object to pattern, and now it's 54.69. So I have both the larger one and the smaller one now in my pattern library. And I have this one, which is 49.54. So we're going to put the smaller pattern in here. Click on pattern. It is always going to default to the uh, last used. So there, the last imported is going to be the one on the bottom. So 5469 is our smaller pattern. And then we're going to go to this one and pattern. And if you remember what the number is of the purple one, you can pick it right out. I'm guessing, but I think that's it. And it is. I've only done this about 100 times. So uh, now there's your digi stamp. You can go back, make this beak this way. So now you have a printable uh, Inkscape SVG file. You add this, and if you can print and cut from uh, Inkscape, you've pretty much got it done. If you want to take it into SCAL or to ECAL, uh, it isn't going to work because the patterns will not trace when you bring an SVG file into SCAL or ECAL. I'll do a video and put it in the same file where I place the digi stamp for the eCal, SCAL users to show you how to add the patterns once you have the digi stamp there. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate it. And if you take advantage of this tutorial and you go off and make get your own pattern papers for free, by the way, at patterncooler.com, uh, you won't be buying so much pattern paper anymore. Again, thanks. And do come by Papasu Crea Creations by Papasu.blogspot.com. Sorry, having trouble with my tongue today. Bye.